Eileen Boken, Coalition for San Francisco Neighborhoods, here on my own behalf. The proposed CASA compact has uh, significant deficiencies. Therefore, I would urge the steering committee not to approve it today. The financial component contains a sales tax. On the November 2016 ballot in San Francisco, uh, San Francisco has rejected a sales tax increase for homelessness and transportation. Even though it was spearheaded by Scott Weiner, Prop K was defeated by a two to one margin. The financing component also contains a parcel tax. This year, a ballot initiative in San Francisco uh, for a parcel tax for housing failed to qualify for the ballot. San Francisco already has four parcel taxes. The comp, uh, CASA compact cons, uh, draft term sheets have the following elements. Emergency rent cap. San Francisco already has rent control. Right to legal counsel for eviction proceedings. San Francisco already has its own implemented a guaranteed right to counsel to suit its needs. Barriers to ADUs. San Francisco already has addressed this issue on its own to suit its own needs. Density bonus and inclusionary laws. San Francisco has already addressed these issues over the past five years on its own to suit its needs. Minimum zoning on transit for housing. San Francisco is already a transit rich city. The city's planning department has estimated that 90% of the city's land mass is within one quarter, uh, one quarter mile of transit. This element, if Im implemented, would cause 90% of San Francisco to have virtually no zoning. This is completely unacceptable. On the housing side, the Costa Compact fails to include emerging trends, such as conversions uh, to short-term rentals and absentee owners who occupy their units only several months a year. In San Francisco alone, it is estimated that these fa uh, factors affect 20 to 30,000 units. Uh, the, thank you. <laughs> 